what's going on guys it's your boy trey how are you guys doing now i hope you guys are good and safe now as you guys know i'm not one to really talk about what's going on at the club it's not really something i like going on about but after the recent purchase of the man Arthur going to Juventus and us getting Marilyn Pjanic in return. I kind of thought to myself, maybe it's time that I come out and say something about exactly what's going on at the club. Now, a lot of people are going to be saying to me, Trey, Marilyn Pjanic is a good player. Why are you hating on Marilyn Pjanic? Well, the truth is, guys, I'm not hating on Marilyn Pjanic. I've got nothing against Marilyn Pjanic. He's always said he would love to play for Barcelona one day. And that's great. Nothing against Marilyn Pjanic. My issue comes with the fact that we're getting rid of a 23-year-old and the person we are replacing him with is a 30-year-old that Juventus have been trying to get rid of for the past two seasons. Now, not only are we buying somebody who's 30 years old, remember, this is FC Barcelona. It's going to take a player at least a year for them to adapt to the Barcelona playing system. Now, not only have we signed ourselves a 30-year-old, we are also throwing in a 365 million bio clause on a 30 year old contract. Now let that sink for a minute. First of all, who in the right mind is going to be coming in to buy Pianich for 300 million? Nobody in the right mind is going to come anywhere near Pianich with that much amount of money. We will be lucky if somebody even showed up with 30 million for Pianich. But because our board are so dumb, they screwed us up so badly. They decide to think, you know what, let's get rid of one of our most talented young players out there. I thought the closest thing we had to Chavi, the closest thing we had to Chavi. We're going to get rid of him just so they can balance their books that they screwed up on. The Barcelona board screwed up on their books. We all know that the books are in shambles at Barcelona right now. So to balance the books, what does our board do? They sell a promising, talented 23 year old who is coming to his peak. They sell him for a 30-year-old, a person that a team has been trying to get rid of for two seasons just to balance their books. And like I said, this is not a hit or anything against Marilyn Pjanic. He's a player, okay? Nothing against him. It's just the fact that our board thinks that's the best thing for them to do, to buy a 30-year-old that a club has been trying to get rid of just to balance their books for 70 million for a 30-year-old. You know, guys, I've had people talking about their boards in the past, like Man City. I've heard people talking about Liverpool boards. I've heard people talking about Arsenal. I've heard people talk about Man United boards. So I've heard a lot of people talking about their boards. And honestly, guys, I never believed that it would ever happen to us. I mean, when we first got Bartomeu and his boys, we thought he's going to focus on football. That's what we all thought was going to happen. Our main concern was, was he going to focus on football? Because with Barcelona, we all know any president who comes to FC Barcelona, they need to understand one thing about Barcelona. We don't buy superstars. We make superstars. That's what Barcelona is all about. That's why we used to run on about La Masia. Every single time you heard Barcelona, La Masia was always mentioned. But since the new board came in, we hardly ever see any talents coming through from La Masia anymore. Because if you really think about it, who was the last player who is in the main team right now to come through La Masia in the last three years, for example? Seriously, if you sit down and think about it, you won't really see anybody. The only player who's been there for a long time is Sergio Roberto. He's literally the only player who we can say came through La Masia, who is still in the main team today. I know some of you are going to say, oh, what about Ricky Puj? What about Ansu Fati? These guys are coming in this year. This is the year that they're starting to make their breakthrough. Now, just because they've played a couple of games, that does not mean they're going to still be at the team next season. Remember, we did the same thing with someone like Adama Traore. He had a season or two before we got rid of him. Look at Bojan. We did the same thing and we're going to keep on doing it with this current board. And honestly, guys... When I first thought of making this video, I was thinking I'm going to scream at the video. I was thinking to myself, I'm going to be screaming and shouting at the board because you guys need to understand how mad I am at the board for making that kind of dumb transfer. It was pretty obvious that Arthur did not want to go. There were reports and reports of Arthur rejecting to go to Juventus. They offered him more money. He said no. They offered him more money again. He still said no. Then they offered him more money. But unfortunately, the Barca board went on Arthur's back and forced him to make that move. It was so obvious. And 
you know you have screwed up. If you are a president of a club, you know you have screwed up when you get to a point where you feel you have to force your players out of a team, especially for a club as big as FC Barcelona. Now, I know some of you are probably thinking, Trey, why are you not screaming in the camera right now? The truth is, guys, I want to scream, but at the same time, I don't even have the energy anymore. I am done. I am genuinely done with our board. Everything they have done since they took over has done nothing but destroy the team. Barcelona is the team with the highest debt compared to anybody else in football, okay? That should tell you how badly the board have screwed up. Before they came into power, our club was fine. I'm not saying our club was perfect. Definitely not perfect, okay? Definitely not perfect. But at the same time, our club had structure, had a direction. We had a vision. We knew who FC Barcelona were. We knew what this badge stand for. But now, we don't seem to understand that anymore. The current board, they seem to just be focused on the money. And that's a problem. That's a problem because it means we're going to be wasting Lionel Messi's last years of football. We're going to be wasting the young talents that we could be producing right now. We're going to be wasting all the fans' money, hard-earned money that us fans put in into the game. And on top of that, we're pretty much wasting our own history of this beautiful football club that I love. The only thing that we can wish for right now, guys, is let's hope Marilyn Pjanic, for those two, three years that he's going to give us, he works out. That's the only thing we can wish for. Because, guys, if you look at the track history of this current board's purchases, it does not give you any confidence whatsoever. I mean, in 2018, when Griezmann was first rumoured that he wanted to join Barcelona, I was the first person to ask, why are we buying Griezmann? A lot of people came up at me and said, Trey, we need Griezmann, he's going to replace Suarez. But then I thought to myself, yeah, but Griezmann is not a striker. He's the number 10. He's not a striker. And people still hated on me. Therefore, I was just saying that for the sake of it. And again, this is not a hit towards Griezmann. Griezmann is a fantastic player, but he does not fit the Barcelona system. Same thing We continue Certain purchases that I questioned... Reason I questioned them was because you cannot buy a number 10 when you already have the best number 10 in your team. It doesn't work. And that's the same thing we're doing with Pjanic. We've got a young player who is adapting to the system perfectly. Then we buy Marilyn Pjanic, a 30-year-old, a player who's gone past his prime. That's the one we get in return. Now, if this does not blow all your confidence away from the current Barcelona board, then I really do not know what you are expecting from football. Now, I'm not saying I thought was ever going to be better than Pjanic or anything like that. That's not what I'm getting at. The point is, you do not get rid of a promising 23-year-old to get a 30-year-old who's finishing, okay? Who's pretty much done with his prime. You do not do that. And that is exactly what our current board think is the best thing for business, just for them to balance their books. That is sad, okay? That really hurts. For me personally, guys, I am hurting. I am really, really hurt by the fact that we are putting 448 million US dollars, 365 million pounds. That's around 399 million euros by our clause on somebody who's 30 years old. Why? I mean, surely, even if we meant we needed to get rid of Arthur, fine. Why not go out there and buy a younger player? Why not do that? Why not find somebody who's going to play that position but younger? Somebody we can mold. Somebody we can keep for the next 10 years. Not somebody we're going to keep for three years before we get rid of. If we're even lucky that he lasts those three years. Remember, this is FC Barcelona. It's not an easy place for midfielders to go to. But at the same time, guys, like I said, I don't want to scream. I'm literally holding myself back right now. I really want to look in the camera and scream really loud. But you know what, guys? I'm just going to say it. Bartomeu out. Bartomeu, please leave our club. Thank you for everything we've won under your management. Thank you. But no, it's time to go. We've had enough. You've done enough to the club. You've destroyed the club enough. Okay. We can't deal with any more debt. We can't deal with any more of these dumb transfers. Okay. We can't deal with any of that. It's time you leave. You and your board and your goons, all your little bad boys, get them out of there. We don't want to see them anymore. We want them gone. Gone. Every single one of them. And this is going to be pretty much the last time I'm going to talk about this. But yes, we want all of them gone. Your boys, your sources, everybody gone. We need a new president. I don't care who's coming in. Laporte, obviously, if we could, fingers crossed. But we need somebody new in our club. We cannot deal with this kind of stupidity in our team anymore. We can't deal with that. Some of us 
love this club way too much for us to watch it get destroyed by a bunch of dummies like you guys like you guys are doing right now we can't deal with that so you know what guys go just go when the elections happen just walk out please leave our club alone we've had enough but that is it for me guys i just thought i needed to get this out of my chest because i'm really angry at the board like i said i'm really really mad i really want them gone just like just about every other Barca fan out there so if you guys have enjoyed this video please do let me know if you want to see more videos like this in the future do tell your boy guys i'm always there message me on twitter message me on snapchat message me on instagram whatever you want to get in touch holla at your boy because i'm always there but that is it for me guys thank you so much for watching and i'm out peace Thank <laughs> you.